Let's dive into the flower urchin. But first, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Go ahead and smash that like button if you enjoy the video. And if you really enjoy marine life, this channel is definitely for you. I will be posting daily, once or twice daily. And let's dive right in. The flower urchin, or the scientific name for the flower urchin is Toxopneustis pileolus. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Once again, it'll be in the beginning of the video. The flower urchin lives in tropical Indian and the Pacific oceans. And it is found on the seafloor, um, usually with the rock and the substrates that are on the bottom. And it grows to a max size of about an average size of six inches in diameter. What makes this sea urchin different than a lot of the other sea urchins is that they, one, are very, very venomous. They have actually killed people before. But two, their flower-like appendages, which are called pedicellariae, or pedicellariae. Um, and those are the flower-like appendages, which actually can hold like rubble and like sand and things like that to protect the urchin from sunlight because a lot of sea urchins are sensitive to light. There are obviously very few predators of this urchin with it being as venomous as it is. However, the triggerfish and a couple wrasses are capable of getting past the flower urchin's defenses and consuming it. The spines of it, as you can probably tell, are a little bit hidden which make it so easy to be stung because you would not think there are spines from the initial look at the flower urchin. The flower urchin eats algae like most urchins. They eat algae, detritus, and small invertebrates that they can pass over. Thank you all so much for watching and like, comment, and subscribe.